Good afternoon, everyone. This is Han, your local realtor. We're here at a property in West Covina. It's a four bed, two bath, 1,482 square feet, priced at $569. Let's go inside, take a look. I like the recessed lighting. What do you guys think about this fireplace? Lots of light coming in from the windows here. Ooh, okay. So this is approximately 8,000 square feet lot. Looks like the, the hill back here takes up a lot of lot space. That block wall on the bottom here does look like it's newer. This is the master bedroom. I like the mirror closets. No recessed lighting, a ceiling fan. The floors do look newer. Let's take a look at the restroom. Looks like they did the remodel quite a while ago. Everything looks clean. Just looks a bit outdated. All right, I love this window here. It's got some nice lighting coming in. This is a master bedroom. Looks like we could fit a, looks like we could fit a king size bed in here. Check out the closet space. You think this is enough closet space for a couple? Let me focus there. You guys think this is enough closet space for a couple? All right, so this is a master bedroom. Back to the living room. Front entryway. There's HVAC. Hmm. Does look a little old. There's a pump. Pump the condensation now. Pretty cool. Here is the first bedroom. Next up, you have ceiling fans. Pretty small bedroom. I'd say this is more like, like an office. I'd say this is more like an office. Uh, you could put a bed in here, but that would be it. Back out to the living area. To the left is our first restroom. Hmm, the vanity does look a little bit small. Looks like they recently purchased this vanity. I'd probably change it out to a bigger one. I like the extra countertop space. Cool, I see some nice tiling here. Nice tiling. And same thing here. It looks like the top went all the way up, which is pretty nice. Bedroom number two. This bedroom's a much better size. Looks like we can have a bed and a bed here. And maybe like a little desk here. Small closet. Again, ceiling fans, no recessed lighting. And then you've got lots of natural lighting coming in. This big window here. 
Bedroom number three is kind of small. Looks like we could put a bed here and maybe like a little desk here. Let's get this window and another ceiling fan. Right. Same thing here, mirrored closets. The bedrooms are a little bit small for, for a home that's almost 1,500 square feet. Let's take a look at the garage. We'll step down here. Back door here. Two car garage. Laundry also in the garage. Lots of storage overhead. The water here does look newer. And let's go back and take a look at the kitchen. That's some nice tiling. I like how they laid the tiles and I like the color. It's a nice warm color. This room looks like it was added on to the property. The roof does, the ceiling does look a little bit lower. We have the backyard. You have a large lot, but some of the lot is taken up by this hill back here. And then we have a side yard. Looks like you can park some vehicles here. It does look wide enough for a couple of cars. One, two. I'd say you can do you can you can you can do about three cars here. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at the house and the backyard. So would you do a patio back here? Would you do a patio back here? I think mean, that would be nice. All right, back into the sunroof. All right, as we walk in, we've got a great open concept. Dining table would go here probably. Recess lighting. I love this open concept kitchen. Let's take a look at the range. I like how the flooring goes up to the to the countertop, that's cool. More recessed lighting. Check out this backsplash. Best craftsmanship, that looks okay. Hmm, looks like they didn't measure correct on the countertop. Something. This light. This light is supposed to be here. I think I would have brought the tile or the backsplash out to here. That would have made it better. That would have made it look a little bit better, maybe. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Should they have brought the backsplash out to here? Or no? Cool thing is we have direct access to the garage, which is nice. And I like this flooring, it's really nice. This is a tile. So if the floor gets wet, you don't have to worry about it bubbling up or you don't have to worry about the laminate flooring getting worn out since these are very high traffic areas. All right, take a look at the countertop. And this is your view from the kitchen. It's a very nice open concept. Thank you for watching my quick video on this house tour in the city of West Covina. I want to give you a quick market update about what's happening in this city. Right now, there's 139 homes for sale in West Covina. 28 
went pending sale as of today. And in the last 30 days in the West Covina area, we had 52 properties sell. If you take the number 139 and divide it by 52, we have three months of inventory in the West Covina area. And that means it's still a seller's market in the West Covina area. The median home price that sold in West Covina was right around 560,000. And that was for a three bed, two bath home, right around 1,500 square feet. All right guys, hey, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or wanna see any properties, give me a call, let me know. My number is 626-315-0048. Hope to see you soon. Catch you on the next video.